Houston Station on Space to Ground. Welcome to Space to Ground, your weekly look at what's happening on board the ISS. I'm Dan Hewitt. Two NASA astronauts completed a quick spacewalk on Wednesday. Rick Mastracchio and Steve Swanson ventured outside the station airlock to replace a backup computer relay system that failed back on April 11th. The two finished that task along with one other in only one hour and 36 minutes. Rick Mastracchio now ranks fifth in total spacewalking time with 53 hours and four minutes. The station residents were also busy this week unloading cargo from the newly arrived SpaceX Dragon resupply craft. Dragon launched from Cape Canaveral, Florida on Friday and arrived at the ISS on Sunday. The vehicle was captured and attached to the station by Commander Koichi Wakata, and then the crew opened the hatch on Monday and immediately began unloading the nearly two and a half tons of cargo inside. Dragon will remain docked until May 18th when it will splash down in the Pacific. One of the first experiments unloaded from Dragon, called T-cell activation and aging, is going to be taking a look at the human immune system. The investigation hopes to better understand the deterioration of immune function that happens to astronauts while they're in space and to aging people here on Earth. What we learn may one day help in the treatment of autoimmune diseases like arthritis and diabetes and in treating the natural decline of the immune system as we age. This week's social media question asks, how do robonauts' legs work? Well, it's a little tough to describe and even a little crazy to watch. They're better referred to as climbing legs, as newest additions are tailor-made for getting around in microgravity. They act as a highly flexible means for the robot to get around inside the station and to stay in place when performing different tasks. We're hoping to see Robonaut take its first steps a little bit later this year. Make sure to keep sending us your questions and comments using the hashtag SpaceToGround. We'll see you next week.